Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Let's not lose our language and identity. Hamshen Armenian. History lessons from the president of the Russian Federation. Putin recalled Ukraine's past. On the occasion of the 31st anniversary of the Artsakh movement and the 29th anniversary of the liberation of the village, the Khachkar was installed in Haterik. Levon Yepiskoposyan. The Armenian gene dominates in Western Armenia. From space, the the remains of fortress can be seen on the slopes of Aragats, saying genocide against Armenians and Kurdistan is not a crime. Art in Western Armenia Fresco February 21 is World Mother Tongue Day. In occupied Western Armenia, dozens of native languages are under threat of extinction. The Hamshen Armenians, Zazaki and Pomaki of these languages. There are many reasons for the disappearance of the native language. The first is that there are no speakers of the language. It is not passed down from generation to generation, does not become fashionable or is assimilated against the dominant language. There are also those who don't allow the language to disappear and try to resist the hurricane by spreading their native language. The Armenians of Hamshen were also subjected to such a feast who, despite all the obstacles and prohibitions created the state level, have been preserved and passed down from generation to generation for centuries. Undoubtedly, it is very important to acquire legal means, use protective means and provide education to keep the native language alive. Nevertheless, speaking with children in their native language is in the first place. It is necessary to approach realizing that our language is our identity. Ukraine for Russia is not just a neighboring country, but a part of the history, a friend and a relative. This was stated by the Russian President Vladimir Putin in his speech addressed to the citizens of the Russian Federation, presenting the historical course of the emergence of the Ukrainian problem. Modern Ukraine is completely created by communist Russia. Lenin and his followers created modern Ukraine, tearing off territories from Russia. No one asked their residents. The Bolsheviks literally brought Donbass into Ukraine, Putin said. Ukraine today can rightfully be called Ukraine named after Vladimir Ilyich Lenin. He is the author and architect, Putin said. In this context, we recall that Finland gained independence on December 6, 1917, and on December 29, 1917, the decree on Turkish Armenia was adopted by which Soviet Russia declares that it protects the rights of Armenians to free self-determination occupied by Russia, Turkish Armenia, up to full independence. This document for the first time raised the question of the independence of the whole of Western Armenia. Read the full article on our official website. In connection with the 34th anniversary of the Artsakh movement and the 29th anniversary of the liberation of the village, a Khachkar was installed in Haterik. This was stated by the head of the Haterik community, Vartan Grigorian. On June 5, 1992, the enemy captured our village and set fire to the houses. However, on February 20, 1993, Haterik was released. In the first Artsakh war, 44 anti-Turkish members remained alive in the name of motherland. Four heroes joined the emotional regiment of the 44-day war. The fate of one villager still remains unknown. In memory of our fellow villagers and as a sign of gratitude, a Khachkar was installed in the village, was Kanyan noted. He added that he was blessed by the spiritual poster of Marta Kervijan, Prius Tovanes Hovanisian. On Western Armenia TV, the head of the laboratory of the Institute of Molecular Biology of National Academy of Sciences, Levon Yepiskoposyan, spoke about the gene and identity of the Armenian, noting that the personality of the Armenian was formed at a very early period due to various circumstances and conditions, and the most important condition for the formation of identity is when our ancestors separated and formed a separate ethnic group. He spoke about the genetic composition of people living in Western Armenia, noting that they have the highest percentage of the Armenian gene. Remains of Cyclopean fortress have been found at the foot of Aragats and on adjacent mountain ranges. Today, only the foundation of these ancient fortresses have been preserved, but the most amazing thing is not such that they are scattered over thousands of meters, but that they are visible from space. Therefore, each of them can be seen of the Google Earth program. For the first time, the classification of ancient fortresses on the site of Mount Aragat in 1920s was made by the famous architect and archaeologist Toros Toromanyan. 
He even attributed to the older fortresses to the Nisolic period. Cyclopean fortresses like the Nazca Geophics is in Peru contain many secrets. Among the relatively little studied monuments in the Armenian highlands are several hundred ancient fortresses, which are commonly called Cyclopean. These are the earliest examples of Armenian fortresses. For the first time in Turkey, a court has ruled that saying genocide against Armenians and Kurdistan is not a crime. This decision was made during the trial in the case initiated under Article 201 against the leaders of the DR Bekir Tigranaker Lawyers Association. One of the reasons underlying the case was the decision of the Lawyers' Union on April 24, 2017, April 24, the great catastrophe which shared the pain of the Armenian people, and the press release published on April 24, 2018, under the headlines, We Share the Endless Pain of the Armenian People. The prosecutor's office also believes that the justification is justified by the fact that according to the Criminal Procedure Court, the accused act is not established by a law as a crime. The court referring to this article confirms that the use of expressions genocide against Armenians and Kurdistan is not a crime under the law. It should be noted that in the case of Western Armenia, no accusation is made either. The oldest examples of the frescoes known to us in Armenia belong to the Urartian era. They are in particular in the Rabuni Palace frescoes. The fresco developed in Armenia in the Middle Ages. Since the 4th century, Armenian churches have been decorated with frescoes. The development of the Armenian fresco was closely connected with the general historical and political situation. The area of the rice coincides with the relativity precious times of the country. Fresco painting in Armenia continues in the late period. The role of the Natan family was significant. Now the musical part, Armenian folk song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.